The SPACE CFG setting, Calc Task Dims, controls how many sparse dimensions I'm going to be able to generate tasks for during parallel calculation. To change Calc Task Dims from the default, go into your SPACE CFG and say Calc Task Dims Space. And if you don't specify an app name or a DB name, you can then just specify N, and N is the number of task dimensions you want it to parallelize along. Or if you want, you can specify an application name. And if you specify an application name, you can specify a database name in that application. And you could theoretically have more than one line of calc task dims so that you could change it by database. Now, calc task dims only affects block storage cubes because it only counts sparse dimensions and there is no concept of sparsity in an ASO cube. So when you set a number for n, what it's going to do is look at the bottom of your outline and work its way upward to the total number of sparse dimensions that you have. So let's say the bottom two sparse dimensions of my outline are scenario and version. I would want to set calc task dims to at least two because it's really easy to parallelize along scenario and version. I can do actual while I do budget, while I do what if, while I do forecast. And for all those, I can do version one while I do version two while I do final. The maximum you can set for n is the number of sparse dimensions in your outline, but don't worry terribly if you go over. Maybe I just like setting n to 200, because 200 is my favorite number of the day. It's actually smart enough to drop the 200 back to however many sparse dimensions you actually have. Now, you're going to want to turn calc task dims on, either in the SBase CFG or inside of your calc script, if you notice it's generating lots and lots of empty tasks. Now, SBase supposedly will look at your calc task dims on its own, in some cases decide, wow, that's way too low, and it will actually try and increase it for you. I've seen it happen in an SBase application. If you do set calc task stems in your SBase CFG, be aware it can be overridden in a calc script. But you could specify it here, kind of applying to the whole server or the whole app or the whole database, and then just let the users as necessary overwrite it inside of the calc script. So we're going to take this massive outline sample basic. It actually only has five stored dimensions, year, measures, product, market, and scenario. The rest of those are attribute dimensions. But of those dimensions, only two of them are actually sparse, product and market. So if I say calc task dims sample basic one, it's going to start from the bottom of my outline upward with the latest sparse dimension. The last sparse dimension in the outline is market. So it's going to go, oh, I'm going to parallelize by all the members of market. If I set calc task dims to two, it's going to use the combination of all the members of the market dimension and the product dimension. So it's going to do Texas Cola while it does California Uncola while it does Oregon Fruit Soda. If I set calc task dims to some number higher than three, maybe just because I really wish Sample Basic had more dimensions, it's actually smart enough that it'll drop it back down to two since it knows there are only two sparse dimensions. Now there's a conflict that can occur between the calc parallel and calc task dims settings and the calc cache settings. If you are trying to use the SBase calculator cache, which in some cases can be a good thing, SBase will actually look at your calc parallel and your calc task dims and go, well, I need to modify these to take better advantage of the calc cache. And it's actually going to go ahead and write in the log that it fiddled with your calc task dims because it was trying to use the calculator cache. Now, in general, parallel calculation is much more important than optimizing the calc cache. If you're trying to optimize for calc cache, you're probably putting fairly large sparse dimensions at the end of your outline. If you're optimizing for parallel calculation, you're probably putting what we call non-aggregating sparse dimensions at the end of your outline, things like scenario or version. Just be aware, if you try and optimize for both of them, you're going to mess everything up. So pick, do you want to optimize for parallel calc, meaning setting calc parallel and calc task stems and not using the calc cache, or are you going to try and get the best possible calc cache you can get, which means you're probably messing with your parallel calculation. Oh.